Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And today we're at the Minneapolis Convention Center and this is the Progressive International Motorcycle Show. And uh, you know, what are we gonna do today, Nate? Hey, today we are gonna take a look at a whole bunch of really cool motorcycles and some side-by-sides and it's some custom bikes and some builds. Ooh, I'm excited about yes. that. But hey, before we do, take a moment, hit that subscribe button below, and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right, so what do you say, Nate? Um, let's, let's go, go look, look for a ride. ride. All right. Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're here with Tony and the Gold Star Ride Foundation. And uh, what what an awesome thing that you guys do. I just, uh, I appreciate it. My family's got some military history. My son was in the military, my father was. The, um, it's it's just awesome what you do, we, we appreciate it. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna give you the mic, and I just want you to tell us what you do. I'll be glad to. All right. Thank you very much, Nathan. I'm Anthony Price with the Gold Star Ride Foundation, and what the Gold Star Ride Foundation does, let me start by saying the Gold Star family is any immediate family members of somebody who's killed in the military. So we got to start with that definition. That's what we do. We go all over the country on this motorcycle. I don't know if you can see that in the shot or not, uh, but we go all over on that motorcycle. I just finished a 5,000 mile ride five days ago, as a matter of fact. And we just go all over the country and we honor and support Gold Star families any way we can. Our unwritten rule is that we do for the families whatever the fallen hero would have done had they not become a, a one of America's fallen heroes. And to give you a little bit of, more of an idea, a little bit of a sample of the work that we do, can we get this in there? There's a map in there. Somewhere in there there's a map. That red line indicates one ride that I did. 18 months ago or so. That ride was just shy of 18,000 miles. I went to 44 states, found 64 families around the country. I was gone for 58 days. When I got home from that ride, I wrote this book. When I got done writing this book, I negotiated a publishing contract so the publisher doesn't get any money. All the money for the book goes back to the foundation. So we just kind of go all over the country and do whatever we need to do or whatever we can do to help the families carry the load. It's a big, big burden to carry the load of, you know, if your husband, your wife, your kids, or your parents are killed in the military, that's a big burden to have to carry. We just do what we can to help them do that. And all these pictures that you see behind me, I don't know how many of them you can see, that's kind of the way, those are all a result of rides that we've done all over the country. And these over here are the same thing, stuff that we've just done all over the country. You know, I, uh, forgive me for making a joke with the director who's off camera right now. Uh, we, we have to do everything that we can to have a great deal of fun. I try to laugh whenever possible. That's why we do this mission on the motorcycle, because I get to leave all of the, the sadness in the wind. Uh, the wind therapy is a, a really a required part of, of the job that we do, the job that I get to do. Um, uh, the other part of it is that I really love riding motorcycles. And motorcycles attract a lot of attention. So when we get to do a group like this one over here, I don't know if you can see that or not, when we get to do a group like that, uh, a lot of people come out and they want to see what we're doing. When we're making parades down the road, a lot of people will stop their cars. I've seen people get out and offer us salutes as we're driving down the road. Um, it, it helps us spread the message. Because when I did that ride I was talking about before, if I talked to 20 people throughout the course of a day when I was doing that 58 day ride, 19 of them did not know what a Gold Star family was. So that became a big part of our mission, to tell people what a Gold Star family is. Now to answer your question that you asked a little bit ago, what can the families expect when we get there? Every time we see a family, it's something new, it's something different. Nothing is scripted, it's very casual. We're there to help them any way that we can. But to give you a, a specific example, I'll tell you about one Gold Star family that we met. Now, also, if you know a Gold Star family, 
tell them about us. If you are a Gold Star family, feel free to reach out to us because we're not going to come looking for you. We respect, respect your privacy too much to go looking for you. So a woman calls us up and says, my best friend is a Gold Star mom. Please come and visit. So we stopped, and this was in the middle of that long ride that I did. It was two months on the road. It was hot. It was tired. It was the last day of July, something like that. It was 100 degrees outside. We meet for lunch, and I introduced at that point to the Gold Star mom. Everything is going along fine. There was another half a dozen bikes that joined us that day. So there was a, a, a nice, comfortable group, and we stopped in a restaurant. We're all having lunch, and everything is going along fine. We're talking about stuff like, what was your favorite part of the ride? What was the most fun that you had? Who was the greatest people that you met? Just real casual kind of stuff. When suddenly the Gold Star mom, who's sitting immediately to my right, she stops and puts her hands on the table and she says, I just don't understand why my son took his own life. And I wasn't really sure exactly what to do, but I stopped and I put my hand on hers and I said, he didn't take his own life. It was a sniper's bullet from 7,000 miles away. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Every, the floodgates just opened up. Everybody's in tears. The waiter was standing behind me. He was in tears. And eventually we all wiped our tears away and the conversation went back to what it was. And we were all laughing and, and enjoying our time. And at the end of the lunch, we hugged and we had tears and we're part of company and we're friends. We're still friends. I'm still in contact with those people. So I get on the bike and I go 100 miles down the road, then I go 200, then I go 300, then I go 400 miles down the road, and then I'm 1,200 miles down the road and it's six days later. And I stop in a hotel and I go turn on my computer to check my email messages. And I get a message from the best friend of that Gold Star mom. And in the email message it said, your visit here was the greatest thing that ever happened. Because after lunch that day, that Gold Star mom went home and she tore up her own suicide note. That's what we do. That's why we keep doing it, and that's why we're asking people to help us. If you got an extra fiver, go to the website, click a donate button, help us out a little bit. We don't spend a great deal of money, but what money we have, we spend on the families. The website is goldstarride.org. You can get the book there. Remember, there's a book. <laughs> Yours very sincerely and respectfully. Incidentally, that's a line we stole from Abraham Lincoln. And it's explained a little bit more. It, it, the details of where the title came from, you can find inside the book as well. Or call me, and I'll tell you on the phone, because I'm very approachable. 651-417-3317. That's, that's our phone number. You can reach out. I'm usually the guy answering the phones, and we can't wait to meet you if you're a Gold Star family. Or if you want to ride with us in support of Gold Star families, I can't wait to meet you either. So this, you can go to the website. Look where we're going to go next. I think the next big ride that we're planning is from Minneapolis to Washington, D.C., and then up the eastern seaboard, and that will be the last week in May. Last week in May. Memorial Day's on the 25th this year. So after, so the last week in May, we'll be going up the eastern seaboard to see Gold Star families. Come on out and ride with us. Thank you so much on behalf of two guys and I for sharing uh, your story about Thanks the Gold Star Ride too. Foundation. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank, th thank you, and, and on behalf of the families, thank you for your service. So. You can invite me back on any time you want. We'll do that. <laughs>